I'm Mohan Nayuduji. Thank you, Chairman, sir, for giving me the opportunity to speak on the interim budget 2023-24, sir. And you have been a witness uh, of our speeches for the last 10 years. Whenever there has been a discussion on the budget, the main issue, the important issue that we always talk about is the AP Reorganization Act. And since the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh, almost 10 years have passed, sir. I would like to present a report card in front of the central government for these 10 years by dividing it into two terms, sir. One when stay, uh, TDP was in power in the state government and one when YSRCP is in power in the state government. So the first five years when TDP was there, sir, in this very house, uh, we have uh, discussed a lot of issues and considering the AP Reorganization Act, some of the important issues, how it differed in the first term and the second term, I would like to explain it uh, to the house, sir. One important issue that we had when we were uh, stepping as a new state was building up the new capital, sir. And we had a challenge of building up the new capital. The then Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, CBN, took it upon himself and he pulled in a land of 30,000 acres from the farmers and we have... Uh, uh, did the foundation stone along with uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji also for the capital city of Amaravati, sir. And it was, happened on a Shubh Divas of Vijay Dasami, we did the foundation stone and we created a lot of pride in the capital city of Amaravati. And in the next term, after YCP has come to power, it has a, created a nutshell mad idea of creating three capitals and right now we are ended up with no capital at all. Now Amaravati has been, the farmers of Amaravati has been protesting for 1500 days, sir, in this very country, farmers have been protesting for 1500 days, but they have been beaten, they have been arrested, they have been insulted, and that is the uh, situation that Amravati is going through today. And RBI, RBI itself has said that if the state government of Andhra Pradesh can tell us where the capital is, then we can establish the headquarters. That is the sad situation of Andhra Pradesh today, sir. Another important issue within the AP Reorganization Act is the creation of new railway zone. When TDP was in power, we used to fight day in and day out. And by the end of that term, sir, in 2019, February, the central government announced for the creation of a new railway zone. Now the new government has com comes up in the state. It is their responsibility now to follow up on that and to make it operational, the new railway zone. But today, after four years and nine months, 52 acres have to be given to the uh, railway department for the establishment of sir. Sir, I've just told you, mentioned you how 30,000 acres have been pulled up for creation of a new capital. Now the state government is not even able to give 52 acres for creation of a railway zone. That is the status of Andhra Pradesh today. Educational institutions were also yes. mentioned, mentioned. Sir, two minutes, I'll wrap up. One minute. Educational institutions were also mentioned in the uh, AP Reorganization Act. Under TDP's rule, IIM, IIT, IIS, ISARN, NIT, Central Tribal University, land was given, thousands of acres, and uh, almost uh, uh, 1,000 crores worth of compound walls have also been uh, built and uh, given to the central government, sir. But today, after the change in government in the state, not a single building has been completed. All the students have been robbed from having their permanent campuses and trying to complete with a lot of dignity in their campuses, sir, but not a single uh, campus has been uh, uh, finished. When AIMS, when we asked the central government why the AIMS construction is getting delayed, the uh, answer was given in the parliament itself saying that the, there is no availability of sand in the state, sir. So that is the situation of Andhra Pradesh yes. and then other important minute. projects. Sir, you just give me two minutes this one time. Minute, this one, one time, sir. Conclude. I am sure next time TDP is going to come up with a lot bigger then number and I won't have any problem with time. But this yes. one time, sir, in the then last budget speech, in the next time. give us one minute. One minute I am wrapping up. One minute. Yes. Polavaram, uh, conclude, conclude. One minute concluding, sir. Polavaram, national project, 72% completed under Harris TDP's rule. Only 7% progress under YCP rule, sir. Jobs, almost 5 lakh jobs created under TDP rule and now not a single notification from the government they say job calendar they say mega dsc not a single job has been given and even the private companies which are trying to come to andhra pradesh they are being kicked out of the state sir this is the sad situation of andhra thank pradesh you. today thank but you. It, uh, the ap reorganization was act was supposed to be completed in 10 years we are completing the 10 years but Asimrat my request Kaurji. to the central government is all these assurances have to be completed Asimrat. sir uh, sir, you just give me two minutes this one time. Minute, this one, one time, sir. Conclude. I am sure next time TDP is going to come up with a lot bigger then number and I won't have any problem with time. But this yes. one time, sir, in the then last budget speech, in the next time. give us one minute. One minute I am wrapping up. One minute. I, Kinjarapu Ram Mohan Naidu, do swear in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will faithfully and conscientiously 
discharge my duties as a minister for the union and that I will do right to all manner of people in accordance with the constitution and the law without fear or favor, affection or ill will. I, I Kinjirapu Ram Mohan Naidu, do swear in the name of God that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person or persons any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as a minister for the union except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as such minister. श्री प्रहलाद जोशी के थैंक यू डॉक्टर चंद्रशेखर पेमा सानी आई डॉक्टर पेमा सानी चंद्रशेखर डू सोलमली एफोम that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will faithfully and conscientiously discharge my duties as a Minister of State for the Union, and that I will do right to all manner of people in accordance with the Constitution and the law without fear or favor, affection or ill will. I. I. Dr. Pemasani Chandrasekhar do solemnly affirm that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person or persons any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as a Minister of State for the Union except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as such Minister of State. Professor S.P. Singh Baghel. <laughs> 